give thanks and praise to the mystic laws of the universe and its protective functions and forces in nature that guide our thoughts and our part in our ways that are lawful, correct, and positive. We do give thanks and praise the evolution of the colonial slave code to law, the legal device, the British Administrative Slave Act, also the British Nationality Act, 30th of July 1948, an act to make provision for British nationality and for citizens of the United Kingdom and colonies and for the purposes connected with the matters aforesaid. Now in a section one, subsection one, so every person who under this act is a citizen of the United Kingdom and colony or under any enactment for the time being in force in any country mentioned in subsection three of this section is a citizen of that country shall by virtue of that citizenship have the status of a British subject. Now, Mr. by default, we are British subject by an act of 1948 up until July 19, 1962 independence. This is when Jamaica get them so-called independence. On July, 19th of July, 1962. This is the conversion and classification of the free man and woman of the earth into a person slash actor that represent, that represents a character called citizen within a foreign European business enterprise known as the United Kingdom and Colonies, which has evolved to the British Commonwealth. Now, it's a Jamaica Independence Act, 19 July, 1962. This is when we're supposed to be free from the British nationality. It has an act and its governance. This is when we're supposed to be free. However, it's an act to make provision for and in connection with the attainment by Jamaica of fully responsible status within the Commonwealth. So this is when them kind of remove you from being a citizen of the United Kingdom and colonies, making your, your status as a Commonwealth citizen or as they would say, a Jamaican citizen. Now what's the Commonwealth definition? Num number one, an independent country or community, especially a democratic republic. Again, an independent, an independent country or community, especially a democratic republic. Two, an international association consisting of the United Kingdom together with states that were previously part of the British Empire and dependencies. The British monarch is a symbolic head of the Commonwealth. So, irrespective of what I say, citizen of the Commonwealth, citizen of Jamaica, and so the British monarch is the head of the Commonwealth. We now have no issue with these things, because we never said it that way. We just have to correct it and extricate ourselves from it, because we are set apart, truly but we have to express it. Number three is uh, commonwealth mean the general good. Origin, late middle English, originally as two words denoting public welfare. So when you hear commonwealth, it's supposed to be 
for the common good, public welfare. Compare with common wealth, it, it's a common wheel from common plus wealth. Now, the Jamaica Independence Act, 19 July 1962, Section 1 said, as from the 6th day of August, 1962, in this act referred to as the appointed day, Her Majesty's government in the United Kingdom shall have no responsibility for the government of Jamaica. So now they would say His Majesty's kingdom, God, the Queen dead. So the Queen and for them kingdom now have no responsibility for the government of Jamaica. So why is there a Governor General as head of state? representing that foreign crown in a military designation. Why is that? Anyway, number two say no act of parliament of the United Kingdom passed on or after the appointed day shall extend or be deemed to extend to Jamaica as part of the law thereof. That means anything with them I do Britain not no concern us. And as from that day, the provision of the first schedule to this act shall have effect with respect to the legislative powers of Jamaica. So the first schedule, it's being enacted, it's in effect on the appointed day. And then as we go along, we're going to see we are then revoke this first schedule. Number two, sir. Section 2 says, as from the appointed day, the British Nationality Act, 1948 and 1958, shall have effect as if in subsection 3 of section 1 of the said Act of 1948, which provides for persons to be British subjects or Commonwealth citizens by virtue of citizenship of Jamaica. Subsection 2b says the definition of Commonwealth country in subsection 1 of this section 135 of said act of 1957 is Jamaica. Section 3 says notwithstand, notwithstand, notwithstanding or despite any anything in the Interpretation Act of 1889, the expression colony in any act of parliament of the United Kingdom passed on or after the appointed day shall not include Jamaica. So this is when they remove Jamaica from being classified as a colony. You know what I mean? So they can structure them within the commonwealth. So it's no longer a colony, but a commonwealth. And then within the commonwealth, they have a business area what i'm called the government of jamaica where the british are responsible for but the commonwealth obviously would be a governing construct yeah man and the british monarch them say at the other state so mr a the removal of jamaica from a british colony to the british commonwealth for in this act, section four, in this act, and in any an amendment made by this act in any other enactment, Jamaica includes the island known as the Moran Keys and the Pedra Keys and the, any other territory which at the passing of this act are dependency of the colony of Jamaica, but does not include Cayman Islands or Turks and Caicos Islands. And in any act of parliament of the United Kingdom passed after the passing of this act, and in any instrument made after the passing of the act by virtue of an act of the parliament of the United Kingdom, whenever passed, the expression Jamaica shall be taken to have the same meaning as in the act, unless a contrary intention is expressed in the act or instrument as the case may be. Section five said, this act may be cited as the Jamaica Independence Act, 1962. So this document was scribed 
19th of July, 1962. And then the Jamaica Constitution Order in Council was the 25th of July, 1962. The 25th of July, 19. 62. So you see on the 19th we get independence and by the 20 the same Babylon will give you a constitutional order. I'm going to say an authoritative command, direction or instruction. That's what an order is, you know. So we should clarify what Jamaica is. Commonwealth country, Jamaica. And you're going to see it in the very constitution where it has a commonwealth, literally mean Jamaica. So more time we are sharing information and people think with us, uh, you know, make it up out of the blues. But all the items have to do is just look on the documents and scrutinize it for the items itself. Section 2 says, the orders in council specified in the first schedule to this order hereinafter after referred to as the existing orders are hereby revoked so the first schedule will give them legislative power has been revoked notwithstanding the revocation of the existing order the following regulation which is public service regulation judicial service regulation police service regulation 1961 and these the jamaica constitution retirement of entitled officers regulation 1961 made there under and all amendment thereto shall continue in force subject to such adaption or modification as may be thereto by or under section 4 of the order and subject to amendment or repeal by the authority having power to amend or revoke the same. So you see, irrespective of what them say, them revoke here. They make provisions for these offices. So it still carry over from the colonial period to now. It's still extant, just like how we shown on which part. Let me say. As from the appointed day, the British Nationality Act of 1948 and 58 shall have effect as if in subsection 3. As from the appointed day, so this very same British Nationality Act still have effect. Just like all the laws are continuing right here. All I'm going to do is according are subject to adaptions or modification that's all them do so the very slave codes that was instituted it just evolved into what them are called for them law and this is why you have a next set of people now in a 1948 present what is known as the universal declaration of human rights And within that construct now, every corporate construct should have a bill of rights, which is a contract. For a charter is synonymous with contract. And then we said the second schedule, this is when they might get the interpretation or the meaning of the words here. And this is when we are called public officer or uh, the public office mean any office of emolument me say enrollment forgive me uh, i'm just make a video and me i say the public office mean any office of enrollment but the word is emolument for my people <coughs> in the public service so when i say people said so i'm a public officer it's an office it means any office of emolument and emolument mean when you're getting paid for your service so right here clearly are just the fancy word where them use but them are tell us that them are commercial vendors them are the business for profit or gain 
making it commerce. You understand? Clearly right there. And it's a police officer means the holder of any public office and include any person appointed, not elected, appointed to act in any such office. And then I'm saying public service means subject to the provision of subsection 5 and 6 of this section, the service of the Crown in civil capacity in respect of the government of Jamaica, including service as a member of the Judicial Service Commission, the Public Service Commission, or the Police Service Commission, and includes public service in respect of the former colony. So, when we are said, we have to see change. Change have to be organic and change have to be autonomous. Change now have to be a slave master, a rearrange, a reword his enterprise, his slave enterprise in order to maintain the status quo. All I'm doing is rearrange the words and trap you with their deceptive languages, you know, and different meaning because when you deal with court, them have a legal lexicon, legal dictionary. We apply to them legalese when I'm speak, because the legal dictionary carry a different meaning from the ordinary dictionaries. However, when you go in a court as an ordinary man, you speak ordinary plain language, you can speak legalese. This is why them not really are gonna hear you in a court, it's all a charade. A lot of other things are going behind the scenes unknown to the public. And this is why they have a constitutional oath of office where they're supposed to adhere to. But most of these people sell their souls for profit or gain. And again, when they have to say, boy, they're wrong or right because everybody have issues. You understand? And the earth has been given into the hand of the wicked. So the wicked create a monetary system where so you can't exist without a piece of paper here to trade and exchange. Hence, people go to work, toil, and labor in order to secure this piece of paper whether it's in credit form or debit form. This is what I think our issue is. When a place we value in ourselves or our people anymore, value is being placed on things, material things, yeah, man. Oath of allegiance means oath of allegiance set out in the first schedule, which then revoke to this constitution. Law include instruments, any instrument. Again, law includes any instrument having the force of law and any unwritten rule of law, unwritten rule of law. And lawful and lawfully shall be construed accordingly. So I'll listen now, you can break it down or look upon each definition individually for dissect what I might try to say at that time. But yeah, man. Just information share, people. The president and the deputy president mean respect, respectively the president and deputy president of the Senate elected under section 42 of the Constitution.
Then we'll go on to say, same sec section one, subsection five say, if it is provided by any law for the time being in force that an office not being an office constituted by this constitution shall not be a public office for the purpose of chapter five of this constitution, this constitution shall have effect accordingly as if that provision of that law were enacted herein. Six, uh, in this constitution, the public service does not include service in the office of the governor general, president, deputy president, speaker, deputy speaker, minister, parliament, secretary, leader of the opposition, senator, member of the House of Representatives, member of the Privy Council, judge of the Supreme Court, or judge of the Court of Appeal, or clerk of or deputy clerk of either house or service on the personal staff of the governor general or subject to the provisions of section 79 of this constitution service in the office of attorney general. So all of these people are excluded from public service. Interesting. Section 2 is a subject to the provision of section 49 and 50 of this constitution. If any other laws is inconsistent with this constitution, this constitution shall prevail and the other laws shall to the extent of the inconsistency be void, just like the 2022 Road Traffic Act. It's inconsistent with the constitution where they might derive their, you know, they might choose to amend from, where they might change. You can erase the provision where give you options. Yeah, man. But then again, for them system or for them thing them can choose for the way them want to all i can say is i rebut these things and do not choose to participate in the unlawful conduct and practice of these agents of a foreign crown again subject to the provision of section 49 and 50 of the constitution if any other law is inconsistent with this constitution, this constitution shall prevail and all the other law shall, to the extent of the inconsistency, be void, ab initio, be void. Now, chapter two says citizenship, so the constitutional order. You know. Section 3 says, any person may, in accordance with the provision of this chapter, become a citizen of Jamaica by birth, descent, or registration as a citizen of Jamaica based on marriage to a Jamaican, to a citizen of Jamaica. Now it says, any person may, it not say shall, you know. So this is optional. May, not shall. 3B says, so every person born in Jamaica shall become a citizen of Jamaica. So see it now? This is when they might tell us about it. You shall, it's a 3B, you know, become a citizen of Jamaica. When Jamaica get independence, the 6th day of August, 1962, in the case of a person born before that day, and on the date of his birth in the case of a person born on or after the six uh, from your born within within the independence they become a citizen of jamaica by default by default just like how you become a british subject by default now section nine go on to say every person who under this constitution or any act of parliament is a citizen of jamaica or under any enactment for the time being in force in any country to which this section applies is a citizen of that country shall, by virtue of that citizenship, 
have the status of a commonwealth citizen. This is a very constitution, you know. So your, your, your national status would be a commonwealth citizen. I remember the British are governed the commonwealth same way. But I like that idea more than having a Jamaican citizenship where Andrew Holiness and people like him dictate terms and conditions to why. This is why I chose to renounce it from being a Jamaican citizen, meaning separation, extrication from the political community called the government of Jamaica, separate and distinct from Jamaica itself as an island nation. Yeah, man. So they can govern who you choose to govern or who agree for you to govern them. A man like me, I have no kind of problem. I said, boy, we reject your foreign governance. We don't want no guy govern over us. You are not God. You know, represent God. This is why we are non-political. You understand? So whether PMP or GLP, we're non-political. The same garbage. One and the same. At least the PMP did create it for go against the foreign construct. But then them, then them take out man from out of prison and create the GLP for go up against the PMP. So right there, a big division of the people. And from that time till now, this, the, the division is still extant. People still totally divided. And it's no surprise, because if you're indoctrinated for generations that way, no different from the slave on the mainland where you, they're indoctrinated until light start shine and knowledge start manifest itself and people start choose to remove themselves from those kind of enslavement. It's a free will exercise, but may I demonstrate and assure the evolution of the very same slave codes, what them are called law now. And I always remember, say, a contract make law. If we don't have no contract, then we are sick. I remember slavery has been outlawed. So it's always a crime for perpetuate slavery. It is a criminal offense. <laughs> yeah, man. So section 10 says a Commonwealth citizen who is not a citizen of Jamaica or a citizen of the Republic of Ireland who is not a citizen of Jamaica shall not be guilty of any offense against any law enforced in Jamaica by reason of anything done or omitted in any part of the Commonwealth or other than Jamaica or the Republic. Watch me. It's because me and I'm a Jamaican citizen. And the law is not applied to me. This is what I'm saying. You understand? So when you hear me say, I, as a man renowned, yeah, it's an heard of God. Marcus Gavin never do it. Bob Marley never do it. None of these iconic figures never do it. I did it. Now ask permission to say I'm not interested in engaging or participating in your political community. You don't need permission to, to remove yourself from that construct, especially when it is despotic, tyrannical, and oppressive, suppressive, and downpressive. One can freely choose to extricate themselves from such construct. That's why we share all of this information. And yes, mustard seed platform, small. When a popular over here, that is not the intent. When a monetize over here, that is not the intent. We always say our people bring our strength. And when them choose not to, we still bring with information the same way. This is our service to our people, sharing the information. Uh, if we have the material things to just give, then we would just give it the same way. But that too is a distraction for having all kind of material trinkets without knowledge mean absolutely nothing at all. 
this is why the old time I didn't used to say labor for learning before you grow old. For learning is better than silver and gold. Silver and gold shall vanish away. But the proper educational information will never decay. Take it anywhere with you, man. Yeah. Today you're down and you know, have no kind of cash flow, you know, have no kind of money, but you have a lot of knowledge. You have to turn to your friend here and say, give me a loan for carrying me over. You have to turn to your family member and say, give me a loan for carrying me over. But you still sit down for a lot of knowledge. It's, it's like treasure. Yeah, man. And as they go forward, they probably boom, publish a book or publish some essays or publish your point of view and who knows boom is a small check that i get where clear all that's where you're in core knowing or unknowingly and then you say what everything changed just like that so your knowledge is essential man it is important man better you get the proper education not just the institutionalized type we condition if a function within the foreign construct but the alternative type we can bring balance nothing wrong with learning these are the things we should emphasize yeah man so again Let's see what we can touch upon. What's a Commonwealth citizen? Yeah. One of must say, okay, by reason of it, shall not be guilty of any offence against any law in force in Jamaica. A, the act or omission would be an offence if he were an alien. Well, not an alien, but yeah. B, in the case of an act or omission in any part of the commonwealth it would be an offense if the country in which the act was done or the omission made were a foreign country so i'm saying any part of the commonwealth are in the republic of ireland it would be an offense in the country in which the act was done Number 11, so Parliament may make provision and then delete that prescribing the ground on which and the procedure whereby a person may be deprived of his citizenship of Jamaica. C, for the renunciation by any person of his citizenship of Jamaica. So the must say Parliament may make provision. Easy. The moment we put a paper, documentation upon the public record or within a construct saying we'll finish all in half do a process it that's it as public trustee you know that's process that you know ask no question you know, tell me some more i need for paying a one hundred thousand dollars through the ministry of foreign affairs you know come on tell me some need for waiting a one two three four years it now apply because we're not a part of your foreign body politic that political community it doesn't apply all we have to do is can know so we have our certificate of uh, demonstrating that so this is the deed that has been done. That's it. 13. So the state has an obligation to promote universal respect for and observation of human rights and freedoms. These are the things where the state here, the government of Jamaica, totally disregard and ignore. They disregard their state obligation, which is to promote universal respect for and observance of human rights and freedoms. B say all persons in Jamaica are entitled to preserve for themselves and future generations the fundamental rights and freedoms to which they are entitled by virtue of their inherent dignity as man and woman and as citizens of a free and democratic 
Republic. Yeah, man. See, say so all person under a responsibility to respect and uphold the rights of others. Recognize in this chapter the following provision of this chapter shall have effect for the purpose of affording protection to the rights and freedom of the man and woman classified as persons as set out in those provisions to the extent that those rights and freedom do not prejudice the rights and freedom of others. There them can find the constitution specifically the 2011 amendment and there them can go through it but my like look upon what is first in time is choice my like look upon what them are before so when them are rearranged and a change you can see what them rearrange from to what them change from to and how it affect you if it applies to you Quite The very document itself said the mother obligation for respect your inherent dignity as a man. Then no, no man no for does violate you arbitrarily because them have a gun or because them in a you know some kind of political community association or organization such as the police service commission the very constitution will create these offices so all of these offices are subject subjected to the very laws of the constitution so they can come with some foreign codes are some different laws some color of law some statutory law some different kind of regulations and try to enforce it as law you have to be specific who does it apply to uh, with winner consent we object to any lawful unlawful presumption and assumption being made by this foreign crown agent C and its agents. We object, we rebut any authority or control or jurisdiction being presumed. We rebut these things. We challenge these things. And we are doing it lawfully. So these people have a way for, well, good and bad is everywhere. And this is why they would have said the devil is here. Uh, if you're not focused, then, you know, you get swept away easily, man. You know, the deceptions of an authoritarian kind of regime, a despotic, despotic regime. People now for excuse me more time when we are going with ourselves in the man. Yeah, man. Uh, more time we we'll make with error here and there, but the yeah, them we have the correction, make the correction and keep moving. You can't dismiss the whole information because of an error from I. You understand, and the error may be butchering a word here or there. So yeah, man, we have to apply ourselves for ourselves in order for you know put ourselves in our position where we can say, all right, this is what's going on. Yeah, man, the very same colonial slave codes have evolved in the color of law <laughs> right there's no law yeah man it's just commercial policy because they have become commercial vendors they have descended to the office of a commercial vendor to the office of profit 
Yeah, man. What them chose for you is word wizardry. Yeah, man. Threat, duress, and coercion. No due process of constitutional law. No due process of law. Yeah, man. Arbitrariness on the part of the public authority. So why are we not challenging these things lawfully? Let them have to correct themselves legally. <laughs> anyway, step by step, people. Information share. Give thanks for the subscribers. And give thanks for the people where leave a comment in the chat. Yeah, man. We truly appreciate it. Because this is how, you know, it has said we support and participate. Yeah. When you share the information, more people become informed. Yeah, when you like the information, then we say give thanks and gratitude. However, we're not there for none of that. We just know say, our work has been done. We push out the information accordingly. Yeah, man. Everybody under the same, everybody not have no interest in the same things. And everybody now got view things the same so it's just where one chose to place their values if it's in material things yeah man or it is in you know us as a people the moment we start value ourselves even when we get upset and want do a man bring earth and arm to our one because of the value of a place for ourselves that gonna make us stop and it's going to make a check. And when would I in a rush to bring her to her arm, it, you know, you probably end up exercise patience to the point where that urge dissipate naturally. But we have to place some value upon ourselves for we show respect to ourselves and we are show respect to the ones that are around with. And the ones that are around, we are the same. But if we are sure respect out there, and the ones that are around totally are violated, then it will always be problematic for us as a people. There is a new thing I go on where people keep missing is the depopulation of our people, where we as a people find ourselves with big machine. And all we do is use it against each other, wipe out each other, while the true culprit will create these things and facilitate these things in our environment, sit back and laugh. Because them not have to come genocide with. We as a people are chose to genocide ourselves with our criminal conduct. You get me? And because we place value on some paper and some material trinkets, then, you know, we disregard life. Yeah, man. So indiscriminating slaughter. And people sit down and wonder. You know, because we lost with values, but they have not family values anymore. Because very rarely you see a family construct where both partners within that construct are live up. Very rarely. Very rare. Them think they're rare. Because boy, yeah, them would have said, oh, the man, them are dogs. Them bad like yards. But the woman them can be worse. So I just wish for our tools for place what values, you know what I mean? Is it in the things? Because you have the money, I guess so you value that. You disrespect everything else. 
man, woman, child, totally disrespect. Because you have money. And your value is in money. It's not that in a people or, you know, your loved ones. Yeah, man, which part you choose to place your value? Step by step, though, people. Again, the brave may fall, but never yield. Yeah, man, and we said bold and brave, firm and strong. Yeah, man, we do give thanks, man. We do give thanks, God. As I must say, life for the greatest, you know? Life for the greatest. So we do give thanks. Always. Always. Freedom. Freedom in here. Freedom in out there. Stay bold and brave, stay firm and strong. Question them. Don't be afraid. Challenge them. Don't be afraid.